Hello everyone, and welcome to Raven Coding. Today I wanted to show you a little bit of the new inventory system that I've been working on for my game Skyrealm Legends of Arroche. Now if you checked out my previous projects and videos on Skyrealm, then you will be familiar with it and you would have seen the um, old inventory system, which was pretty much just a bunch of lists very similar to what you'd see in a game like like Skyrim, um, except even simpler in some ways. And if you look at the code of that inventory system, I was originally just storing all the items in a list, and that gets kind of messy if you want to keep track of how many of each item you have. So I decided to store it in a dictionary, but that got kind of messy too because if the item had hit points, like a sword that wears out or something, or armor that wears out, or a lockpick that wears out, then it wasn't very easy to keep track of the hit points it had by just storing it in a simple dictionary. So instead I decided to make a list of dictionaries where the slots in the list actually correspond to different slots where you can put things in your inventory. So you have a set number of slots. Let me go ahead and run this and show you what I mean. So the new inventory system is graphical. So here we can see how many slots we have. We have six slots this way by six slots this way, so 36 slots in total. And then we have the equipped slots. So there's what's equipped on your head, on um, one of your hands, and your gloves, your torso, your bottom section or legs, and your feet. And then you have six different things where you can equip them in your other hand that you can easily swap between using the shortcut buttons um, one through six. Okay, so the way I'm doing this now, instead of storing it in a list or in a dictionary, there is a list that has 36 slots in it. So it's a list of 36 slots and each slot is a dictionary. It is an empty dictionary if there's nothing in it, or it's a dictionary describing the item or items that are in it. If they are stackable items, like this iron ore, this iron ing ingot, I mean, then it simply increases the number associated with that, so it has a um, a key that says the number and then the value of how many are in that slot. Or if it's a non-stackable item, then it keeps track of the hit points of that item and it has a little bar here to tell you how full that is. Now in the future I'm going to make it so if, um, like in Minecraft, if the item hasn't been used at all, this bar will just not be there. But when one you use it, the bar appears and then as its hit points go down, it turns from green to yellow then from yellow to red. So it tells you how much, um, how many hit points, um, or how much usage there is left of that item. So if you want to equip something, it's really easy. You just click on the, the helmet and you just, you know, drag it on the head. And I made it so you can't just stick, you can't just stick things wherever you want. You can't wear, um, you can't wear leggings on your feet, but you have to wear them on your legs. You can wear boots on your feet, but you can't wear them on your hand. Now in this hand you can hold anything in this hand, but that's just like, um, this is going to be what you use in the, the right button slot, the right mouse button slot, and then these are going to be, whatever is selected is going to be what's used on the left mouse button slot. So it's very similar to Minecraft, I suppose. Now these items are just example items, and then there's um, a magic section too, and you can equip the magic in either of these six slots. So these are spells, each one of these is a spell. And it tells you the different properties of it down here. Right now, I didn't enter in any properties. This is still pretty rough right now. And then we can equip it in the hand or in any of these slots here. And then... I had to make it so you couldn't stick magic in your inventory. Oops. 
I went off the focus there. Let's minimize all this stuff. Alright, so you can't stick magic in your inventory, because that the spells are not actual items, they're just magic spells that you know. And then if you go to Anvil, well, the, this is actually, this corresponds to whatever workstation you're at, so if you're at an Anvil, it will say Anvil here. If you're just in the regular crafting menu, that you can access anywhere, then it'll say crafting. If you're at an enchanting table, it will say enchanting. If you're at a smelter, it will say smelter, and so on. So right now, it's um, programmed to think it's at an anvil. So if I want to craft something at the anvil, I click these items here, I can just put it whatever I need here, and it's a lot like Minecraft here, where you can craft the items here. And the recipes are, some of them might be similar to Minecraft, others are different, like this is how we craft a long sword as opposed to a broadsword. We can make items out of gold. Or we can make items out of iron, or steel, or whatever ores and um, ingots we have. We can make daggers. Now, something you'll notice is I can make these items anywhere on here. It recognizes the pattern anywhere just like it would do in Minecraft. So it's a very easy crafting system. All you need to do is remember a simple recipe. Now in the game, you're actually going to have to get forging books that tell you how to forge different items or learn the recipes from different characters. It's not all just going to be given to you. And there'll be recipes for crafting not just weapons, but armor and guns and things like that. Like right now, the, the recipes for crafting armor Now I have gold armor, I can make leggings, I can make gloves, uh, let's see, I think, oh, this is the recipe for boots. I felt like that was a bit more realistic, using leather and um, leather straps, along with the gold, to make some golden boots. And then you go back to inventory, and you can swap these items out. So it's just a simple inventory system that's graphical and really easy to um, exchange the items. And I think it's just a lot more visually pleasing than just having lists of texts. And I don't have to keep track of weights and things, because I just have to keep track of slots. So how many slots you have directly um, tells you how much stuff you can stick in that slot. So it's a lot easier to keep track of, and overall a much better system. So if you want to look at the code, I will have the code available on my GitHub soon, as soon as I finish polishing up some things. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. And when this is done, you can feel free to use my code for your own games if you want a similar kind of in inventory system. Oh yeah, there's one more thing I want to show you, and that's um, how the recipes work. So the recipes are just stored as simple lists, and here I just made variables that tell me what the items are, just to make the recipes easier to enter in. And then, so an X rep represents an ingot, and there are a lot of different kinds of ingots, so it's whatever the material of the ingot is, plus the ingot, and then I just type in zeros where there's nothing there, and an X where there's an ingot there. So here we can see that's how we make armor of whatever material. So it's pretty easy to make recipes, and you can make recipes for different stations. So these are all forging recipes. These would come up when you're using an anvil, there are crafting recipes that come up when you're just in the regular crafting menu, and there are enchanting recipes that come up when you're at an enchanter, or alchemy recipes when you're at an alchemy lab, and so on and so on. So it's pretty easy to make the recipes and to to adjust this system. So I'm hoping that when I'm 
I'm done, this will be something that would be easy just to plug into any game that you're making in, in Pygame. So feel free to use my code, and I'll have that up on my GitHub in probably within the month. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a, a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell if you want to see more content like this. Thanks a lot and have a great day.